Woke up with beauty in my bed And isn't it sad how we don't know it's beauty until it's dead No, I wasn't. Brown um, nose that you were like, like a pill no, pleaser. I was, I was a quiet, gentle child that didn't demand a lot. I was a caregiver. I was sensitive. Okay, a couple years ago, Sarah came out with that statement in front of my mom. She's like, I was a caregiver. I took care of you with Tegan. She says this to my mom. My mom's like, pardon me? People, people who get caregive don't ever think that they're being caregiving. Then because they always want more. It's like they're always needy. They never, it's never enough. You know. Him. Caregivers know, like we don't care what, but other people because we know because as caregivers we carry that burden. Okay, around. fine, you're a caregiver, but would you not agree that all caregivers are also martyrs? Yeah, we're martyrs. We carry. Caregivers don't mean that we know that they're caregivers. They just know that they're caregivers. It's true. Oh, like, buy a cross. <laughs> Trouble. Caregivers in the audience. Yeah! Don't worry, we find each other eventually. We don't need them, so it's fine. It's more like, it needs more, to be this long. These are more like dread. These are hair extensions. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have a hard time with that. Getting that out now. You're gonna have some problems. I, had, I put hair extensions in. You're gonna have some problems. Oh. Oh shit, you're right. I just thought it was like really a serious t- <laughs> All for the sake of comedy. <laughs> this is not a <laughs> show. Let me go get my hair extensions out. In Australia, we were opening for a band that was quite big there. And um, a couple shows into the tour, um, the band canceled the tour. And we were kind of stranded over there. And we had spent, we didn't have a record label giving us you know, tour support, so it was all of our own money, and we were, we really sort of, like, had this, um, this dilemma, because we were going to lose all this money if we didn't do something over there and make, try to make it back, but, um, but we didn't really know, like, nobody really knew us over there, so we, um, so we resorted to prostitution. Yeah. (laughs) Well, this is a very sex-positive city, isn't it? Really into sexual work. <clears throat> Anyways, so we didn't actually. Uh, we we but we, but what we did do was um, um, uh, the other. Are you flustered? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. What? Because because now everyone's imagining. No, you're just supposed to use us for sex. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> listen. You brought it up. Don't give me that stern telepathic look or whatever you're doing. Stare at the audience to find someone cute. Anyways, and I think that you know we're. I think that if we thought there were people that were um, activated and interested in doing great work in this in this world, in the celebrity world, I mean. Yeah. And I love that you, by the way, don't think I didn't miss when you were like, you know, the celebrity world. <laughs> you you quoted towards yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and like. Like very far away from me. <laughs> I know. Well, I think of, I think I was say, see this is a bit meta, but like I see you as a celebrity, and I was saying like I guess sort of me over here like a celebrity too. Come but, on. Like, you know, like, <laughs> in the margins. It's Sarah. Which is our another. We have another foundation that we're starting. Called. It's it's uh, the Tegan and Sarah um, Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> that's very. That's it's so funny that you don't think of you you don't think of yourself no. as a celebrity. Mm-mm. Okay. Well, lesbians do. <laughs> Just like that. I mean, I guess that I think of myself as being like somewhat recognizable to a certain community. That's it's not a very it's not a snappy name. <laughs> oh, you know, like I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say that I, um, but thanks, Sarah's cats are great. Yeah, they're cool, they're cool. Um, the cool part about cats is that they have no idea what's going on. Like, that. sometimes this is, okay, I try, I try to explain this sometimes, but, like, I wish the cats knew who I was as a person. Like, that I was, like, like, I got home tonight and Holiday was like, meow, 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 meow. like, you know? Like, not in English, like, I'm not psychotic, you know? Like, but, like, I just sometimes she like the guy, the boy cat is he's an idiot. It doesn't matter. But the girl cat, like Holiday, is so smart. She's like she's one so guy in the audience is going, oh. <laughs> 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 I imagine it. Or the 
I actually, you know what, I'm rooting for men. You know, I really, I've always really loved men and was rooting for them. And then I got a male cat and I was like... <laughs> At its most basic level, all he cares about is himself, his dick, his food, and then Holiday doing things for him, you know? Like, he's just always like, come on, he's like, comes over and he's like, lick me, you know? And then he just like, puts up with it for like two seconds and she just fucking hisses and he just runs off, you know? And I'm like, that might be what the most basic, that might be the most basic human instincts that I'm seeing there. I don't know. Okay, sorry. So, the thing I was going to say about Holiday, the smart one, um, she, sometimes she looks so smart and she's like watching me do things. So, I just wish I could come home from tonight and she could just like, acknowledge like, hey, I know you're out there working really hard. Like, you, you worked three weeks on this show and you were really stressed out and you were in bed early all the time, which really suited me because I generally like to go to bed early nights so that worked really well. Um, and then you were up early with like vicious anxiety and that helps me because then I get to go outside a little earlier than normal. Like I just wish you would say that to me, like even just in her eyes, you know, just... I guess that's what's, what it's like to have a kid, where you just want them to <laughs> acknowledge you. Yeah. yeah. So and you're in mortality. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that was weird. Sorry about that. I'm yeah. not stoned or anything. I just, I just, no, oh, it's cool. Feel it. Record, we don't like that we were okay even though we hate cock, but I don't hate cock, I love cock, so, so we both, we all love cock in the van, I mean, they let us show much cock in the van, yeah. we love cock, so I just wanted to correct that. They love their own cocks, and we just like cocks, they just don't have veins in them. We are not that old, but, um, but we are, we are 35 year old women, we're very mature. Tegan went down, and I'm like, she's old, she just has to lay down for a minute. It's fine. That means my number one goal for this record is uh, <laughs> my ovaries are on their last leg, so if anyone wants to just, you know, I'm willing to um, use my ovary to um, make your dream come true. My second goal with this record is to convince Sarah to stop bringing her fucking ovaries up on stage. My third goal for this record was just that Tegan would just let me be myself when I talk about my ovaries or just myself however I wanted to. My ovaries won't be around that long. It's not going to be like we're going to be doing our heritage tour when we're in our 50s. I'm going to be like, so anyways, my left ovary. That's all you're going to talk about when you're 50. That's all you're going to talk about. So wait. Don't bring it up now. It's just a little sack with little eggs in it. And what happens is once a month. Guitar's cooler than the piano, though. The piano's all nerdy and bulky. I don't know, the guitar's like a penis, you know? It's just. I just think the piano, the piano's beautiful. It's like a spectrum. You know, it's like a cycle. It's beautiful. The guitar's just like. You have a wood dick on you, and it's just, uh, whatever. If you feel cool about it, like, cool. It's not a dick, it's a third arm. I have three arms. Oh, arms are like dicks. So we play in our prison dick. I don't know. You can't pick something off of the dick. Well, yeah, you can. Pick lots of things off of the dick. I'm not saying a dick is bad, I'm just saying I don't want to use the dick, that's all. I mean, not in this way. I like dicks, I just don't want to wear them. On stage. I was trying to be sweet. I just, I'm just saying, I'm not, it's not a conspiracy, but I think there's a subconscious, institutionalized idea that guitars are better, but I think it's because they look like dicks. People are like, guitars are so important! And I'm like, why? Because it just fucks the whole world with itself? Like, I just, I don't know. What's so great about a guitar? And good night.